Okay, so you've got an iPad and you've updated it to 5.0 or 5.01 and you want to go back to 4.3.3 to use Jailbreak Me. So what I suggest you do is uh, on the Mac is basically to, first of all, you want to go to a folder. You want to go to your ETC. And that's where your host file are. So I've dragged out this host file and this host file. They're on my desktop. Now if we go into that, you'll see you've got this one here. You want to completely delete that. I'm not going to do it on mine, but you want to delete that file out. And then have them back on here. Same again. Open with, with this one because I don't normally have that. So open with, get the do it. And then go to other. And you want to go down to your text editor and open up with that and you'll, again you'll see that one in there delete that out completely delete that out save that now in here you've got your hosts and your umbrella hosts delete those you might have to authenticate them well you will have to and these ones that you've you've got here what I did is I just dragged them onto my desktop that's how I got them there so once once you've done them altered them you can then delete those two and put these ones back in there, authenticate them when you're done. So we've done that part. Now go to Tiny Umbrella's website and we're going to download this file here. And what you want what you'll find is when you download it on a Mac, you'll have some numbers in there. Delete them out, click on it, and you'll get this here. Now it's asking me to choose which firmware I want to do. So obviously you need to download the iPad um, 2 433. So we're going to open that up. And it's now going to choose that current firmware. And now we can see that there's your firmware there with a baseband. And this is what it's going to make it into. It's going to make it with that baseband there. So we're going to save that target. And once that's done, we'll come back. Okay, so it's made my, made my firmware, which is here. You can see it's the restore one. Now what we need to do, then after we've done that, we need to go to Tiny Umbrella. Before before you do this, actually, you want to do a reboot. That would probably help a lot better. But um, once once we've done that, once we reboot and come back, go to Advanced. If you've got anything else in here, untick them. And just tick that one there. Set Host to Cydia. Start with TSS Server. And then, basically, put your, put your iPad 2 into DFU mode. And open iTunes and um, press Alt and uh, restore, and you should you should find once you've uh, that should then restore to uh, 433. I've done it like this myself, so I know it works. So I hope it works for you. See you in the next one.